morning. Hello, Lone Orange Nation. Hello, hello, hello. This is Tiffany Huckelman, founder of Lone Orange. I'm so excited to be with you this morning. You know, years, years of online dating only produced a lot of Mr. Wrongs for me. I met some real doozies, including the typical fake profile, fake profile pictures, um, exaggerated, we'll say, will be nice and call it the exaggerated profiles. Then some people who just were not the type of person that I wanted to be attracting. Oh, my new microphone's not cooperating with me today. Here we go. All right. Um, so I wasn't attracting the people that I wanted to attract. So just when I was about to give up and just head back to the bars, I'm going to give up on the online dating thing altogether. I decided to make one last ditch effort. But I changed one thing and I changed one thing that made all the difference in the world. And I want to tell you about that. What I changed is that I got really clear on who I was and what I was really looking for. Like I wasn't just looking for somebody uh, who I was really looking for. I changed my profile, updated my profile to reflect that and voila. Sorry got technical issues today. Let's see if we can figure this out. <laughs> so anyway, I changed my profile to match better who I was and what I was really looking for. And voila, I met my Mr. Right. And it was because, and I credit that one change because I finally attracted some good people and I finally attracted my husband. Now, here's the thing. As a business owner, I actually asked some of the same kind of questions that maybe I asked when I was dating. Like, where do I meet the right clients? What do I say to them? How, how do I meet them? Where do I have to go to meet them? All of those things are super important to be asking as a business owner, just like when you're dating. So attracting and keeping the right clients is the number one goal of any business, right? But it's also the number one challenge that I hear from entrepreneurs everywhere all the time. How do I find the right clients? And so you might assume that the answer is doing more or better marketing. How do I do, what's the next thing that I need to do? But there are a gazillion marketing tactics out there that are all disguised as the next silver bullet. So what, what are we really supposed to do? Because it's overwhelming and there's just too much to do and it's expensive to do marketing and, and just try things. So here's a little secret. It's not the next marketing tactic that you need. It's actually getting clear on who you are as a business. It's actually creating a more authentic dating profile, if you will. It's getting really clear on who you are as a business, what, who you can best help, communicate it really well, and then make sure that your client experience matches who you say you are. Now I have sp spent the last 10 years figuring this out for my own business, but I've also helped clients with this. And I have taken all the best parts of what I've learned and consolidated them into a new system. Now this is, you've heard me talk about some of this before, but this is the next level. I've been working really hard in the last several months to take this to the next level. I'm always way looking for ways to improve myself, of course, as a business owner, but then how do I apply that and help my clients? And so what I've done is taken all the best things that I've learned over the last 10 years and consolidated them into what I call the live your brand method. <coughs> Excuse me. This is quite, a, it's called, we're going to keep moving. All right. We are having all kinds of technical fun today. So anyway, I'm not going to let that stop me here. So I have taken all the best things that I have learned over the last 10 years and consolidated them into a new method called the live your brand method. Now why live your brand? Because as an entrepreneur, your brand shows up in your business for sure, but it shows up in your purpose. It is your purpose. And I want you to be living your purpose. So there's three main steps to the live your brand method. And I just want to take a couple minutes to walk you through them very quickly. The first step is to know, know who you are as a business, know what makes you unique and know who you can best help. The second step is to communicate, take what you now know 
and communicate it really well in a clear and compelling manner so that the people that you want to attract know that you can help them. And what I find is amazing is once we get through the no section and get really clear on your identity and then figure out how to best communicate that to the people that you can best help, your marketing plan practically writes itself. So rather than trying to throw things against the wall, you can develop this brand that informs what kind of marketing you should be doing. And so your marketing can be that much more successful. Now, the third part of the live your brand method, and to me, this is the secret sauce because this is the part that gets overlooked so often. <coughs> Excuse me. And the third part is to be. It's about taking that brand and living it out in every interaction, every client interaction, making sure that what you have said you are is what clients experience of you. Because if they experience something different than what you've led them to expect, they're going to have a bad experience and they're going to run screaming out the back door and possibly leave some bad reviews on your website. We don't want that. So making sure that your daily operations, that your sales, that your marketing, that your onboarding, that your delivery processes are all defined so that your processes and your client experience is, uh, is consistent and repeatable and predictable so that people know what they're going to get when they come work with you. That is the secret to the live your brand method. It's making sure that your brand is threaded through everything that you do. And here's the beautiful thing. Once you figure out what that client journey is and you've documented those systems, then you can start growing your team and growing your team with people who align with your culture, who align with your values, who you love working with and who can serve your team just as well as you can. So whether you've been in business for a long time and you just kind of maybe feel stuck and you're kind of spinning your wheels, or maybe you've been in business for a little while, but you're looking to accelerate your growth. Or even if you're just getting started, the live your brand method can help you attract and keep your right clients with confidence and clarity. I am so excited about this new program and I want you to be able to look at your company and figure out where do you need to focus. And there's a lot to this process. Like I've talked about it in the last couple of minutes, but there's a lot to really dig into this process. So to help you kind of figure out where to begin, I have created the Brand Insights Quiz. It's a quick quiz that's going to diagnose, that's going to help you look at the no communicate B portions of your business, figure out where you need to look, where you need to start developing, and then you'll be able to, to start developing those areas and grow your brand. So I invite you to take the quiz. I will make sure that the, the actually the, the link is in the description of this video. So make sure you go take that quiz and see how you can better live your brand. And if you've enjoyed this video with all the tech glitches and all, I would invite you to share this video with, with your friends, tag people in it who you think could relate benefit from this message. People who can understand that branding needs to come before the marketing, that having great client experience is so critical. All of that, getting all of that set in your business will make your marketing that much more successful. It boggles my mind, boggles my mind, how much time I wasted dating guys who weren't right for me simply because I wasn't clear on who I was or what I wanted in a husband, in a, in a somebody at that point dating. <clears throat> I wasted so much time because I wasn't clear. I don't want you to make that same mistake for your business. I don't want you to delay. I don't want you to waste any more time attracting the wrong clients for you. I don't want you to, to delay growing your business anymore. So it's time. It's time to live your brand. Until next time, live your brand. Bye.